Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo! <sighs> Shit. Just close it, just close it. Kick the crank, kick the crank. Just close it, just close it. There you go. <laughs> My Wait God. a minute, Rick. Yeah. I thought this was a commercial. What, what's going what on? I mean, give me the don't, don't worry about it. Let's see, let's see where this goes. She came so fast, Oh my fast, God, it's bro. still the commercial. What'd she do? Unlock the front door and just ran to me? Right. Oh my gosh. That's it. Jeez, Rick. Oh my God. What's this? Some pretty hardcore stuff. What in the hell? As y'all see by the title, y'all know what today is. What's going on, YouTube? K-Rob here bringing you Nocturnals. Thank y'all so much for showing so much love on this channel. I appreciate every single one of y'all. A lot of people have been telling me about this game right here. I was doing a little bit of research and I found out that this game was made in the form of a love letter to the game developer's partner, which is pretty dope because you don't really hear games being made as a love letter, quote unquote, to their partner. So that automatically piqued my interest. I, I was like, wait, I gotta tap in with this one. This game is a choice-based game as well. It was it's set in the post-apocalyptic scene and we're already accustomed to that bro we just played last of us and we play a ton of choice based games on this channel so i'm totally invested i'm gonna stop talking without further ado y'all let's jump right into nocturnal choose your play style this can be changed at any time in the setting menu okay opt for a more immersive experience without story hints story hints will display the consequences of your actions uh i want to do story let's do yeah let's do story hints i'm, I'm cool with that we're used to that anyway. Choose your play style. This can be changed at any time. Okay, play with immersive quick time events for a more challenging experience. And then, okay, the other one is just simplified. Let's go with immersive, man. I want a little bit of a challenge. Come on, let's do it. Your choices shape the story of nocturnals. Choose carefully. Man, look, we do this choice-based stuff right here, bro. On this channel, we good with it. We all good, bro. I'm locked in. Okay, so this is the main character right here. His name is Ted. I did read about that too. Langarth. All right, y'all. We locked in, man. No deaths. Because I did see too that characters can die in here. Important characters can die in this game. So... We're going for a no death run. Off tops, bruh. Off tops, no death. At least bro got a car, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. You ain't gotta worry about nothing. Besides gas. You do need to worry about gas. That is tough. <laughs> that is real tough. Welcome to Ruddle Side. Ruddle Side. Dang, that's the trespassers. What did I say? Trespassers will be shot. All right, so based off how this whole place is like, like barricaded, there has to be people here. I'm convinced there's people here, bro. Nocturnals, man. Let's get it. Plug. All right. And I got the Thule. Okay, y'all know how I feel about guns now, especially in these type of games. I just boost the so confidence you level. You a little, I think you a little too loud though, bro. Like keep it down a little bit. We don't know who's here yet. So please, you know, find some fuel. Okay. Wait, this is how the game it first person. This is tough. Wait a minute. I like this. Try gate. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to find a way around. Trespasses will be shot. This is enough for me to like Probably try out the high school that's down the street, you know what I'm saying? Like, find some gas there. Because there's obviously someone does not want me to come in here. <laughs> that's all I know, bro. Oh. R1 to crouch, okay. <clears throat> Furniture Valley. Bro, look at this. Like, this is barricaded. I mean, it's a bad barricade. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not that good. But it's like, people took their time to barricade this. So there has to be someone here. Open door. Locks, of Locks. course. So they made of glass though. This place looks mad empty. Shoot door? Why would I shoot? Nah, bro. Let's find let's see if we can find another way before we do something drastic like that. Like I can't be wasting ammo. Look, there's like a way to get in right here. Try shutting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course it's budge, bro. We can't like. You know what I'm saying? We can't just hit a little uh, like. No? Okay. Oh, climb up. Oh! We just breaking like this! They not gonna, 
If there's someone in here, they are not gonna mess with this, bro. Breaking and entering? <laughs> oh! Your actions will shape Ted's character? Wait, what? Jeez. Me breaking in? At least I didn't shoot the glass, you know what I'm saying? Like, dang. Me breaking in just shaped him? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, at least I'm in. That is shoot. But, like, blood? Hello? Okay. Someone is leaking. Bro, this game is sick, though. Like, I wasn't expecting the first person stuff. Like, I knew it was, like, choice-based game, but, like, I didn't know, like, this was gonna be, like, first person like this. This is dope. Open door. Okay. Uh, I don't know the passcode. Never mind. Okay. After what happened, I've changed the password. It's accessories, living room, dining room, bedroom, Maggie. Wait. How does that... Wait, how does that correlate to... To the numbers though accessories living room dining room bedroom is it like the numbers in the no i can't because it doesn't go pet wait no that can't be right wait what look at notice board these must be the guys who live here we got maggie to them? millie alfie mia and ethan need to do put new batteries in the door lock fix hole in the fence millie create veg patch maybe check out the high school Find generator, sick of these lanterns, need more ammo. Fix Izzy's camera, soap. Please, Ethan smells, fuck off. Dang, <laughs> Ethan caught the meanest stray in that to-do list, bro. Dang. Oh, wait, look at this. There's pictures that are still hanging up, but then there's this one that's on the ground. Izzy in, what is that? Cora, Kara? Cora, okay. Bro, they got supplies. Like, yeah, there's obviously people here though, bro. It's just that like, where? Huh? Look at drawings. There was a kid here at one point. Oh, wait. Whoever lived here can't be that bad. This is the kid from that picture that's on the ground, right? Because she had the eye patch with the tiger. Wait, hold on. Let me let me fact check that real quick. It is. It's Izzy. That's the name. Okay. My thing is, bro, what is this about? And what is up with that locked door, bro? What's the passcode to that door? Accessories, living room, dining room, bedroom. What? Wait. The signs have numbers. One... Oh, wait. Oh, one, okay, one, seven, was it? It was accessories, living room, bedroom, one, seven, two, nine. Okay, got it. That's clever. That's clever. I like that. All right. One, seven, two, nine. Okay, okay, okay. We moving. We moving. We moving. Hold on. I'm cool with the post-apocalyptic stuff, bro. I'm cool with it. We moving, bro. Okay, we got the fuel for the truck. Cool. All right. Finally. Um, do I need anything else in here? I don't need this crank or anything like that. Okay, I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling for right now. Let me go back to the truck real quick. You feel me? Um, stop. <gasps> don't move. I don't want to shoot a kid today. Okay, hold on, okay. me. What's your name, okay. Mia? Is there anyone? I see Mia on the uh on the board. Uh, is there anyone with you? Um, oh, <laughs> oh, I mean, if the question, the real question is, is there anyone with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm a lot to her because... Yeah, I'm the, I'm the way to yeah, the side. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe you. You would have come in with them. Don't not, lie. What you mean? You're not any good at it. Look, I just came by to get some How food. you don't know they had the you truck? You can have it back. <laughs> or if it's food you want, I, I can... I don't care about that. Then what do you want from me? The keys to the truck. The one you just drove in here with. How long have you been watching me? No. Mia, what's taking so long? We don't have time for this. Is that Maggie? If the sun goes down, it'll be back. Forget all this. Just shoot him and let's go. <gasps> no. No, wait, hold on. Hold, hold, to do hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's talk. Let's just talk this out. My truck. There's a nocturnal in Ruddleside. Nocturnal? There's a nocturnal in Ruddleside? Nocturnal? I mean, I know that's the name of the game. Is, is nocturnal like, is that like a, a being or something? The way she said it, it sounded like I need to go too. So you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I need to go. You guys know I need that truck too. Right. Just put it's me just in the back. Just Sorry. put me in the pickup. If we take it, he's gonna die anyway. Why postpone his death? I could sit on someone's he's a lap. a fucking kid. I'm, I'm not a murderer. Hand over the keys. Oh, what? Oh, what? I mean... 
uh, I'm, the, I'm in no room to make no demands. It's a 2v1, bro, and I only got a pistol to me. She got a whole hunting rifle. You know what? Okay, okay. I feel like she would just shoot the gun if I just threatened her right there. Like, what, what, I would not... Ooh. Wait a minute. What you looking at? No! <laughs> yeah! Okay, Ted! Come on! Oh. Open the door. <sighs> Fuck! Oh. Oh, the crank! The crank! The crank! The crank! Okay, okay. How do I... Just give me the keys. I gotta hold... Oh, I hold it. Okay. You come into our home. You steal our things. I, bro, I didn't know it was your crib, bro. I thought it was abandoned for a minute. I didn't mean to steal nothing. I just needed some fuel. There we go. Oh. Oh. Shit. Just close it. Just close it. Kick the crank. Kick the crank. Just close it. Just close it. There you go. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? What the? Just give me the fuck. Oh, dang. She came so fast, bro. What'd she do? Unlock the front door and just ran to me? Right. Oh my gosh. That's it. Oh. oh my gosh. Bro, what footsteps behind me? <laughs> I'm cold, I'm cold. Woo. What the? Why she smile at me? Girl, if you don't get off me. Just get to the truck. Just get to the truck. Shoot her? Run to the truck? I mean, y'all threatened me. Damn, yeah. Son. You didn't think I was about that? Come on, man. We could have talked no. it out. We could have been all peaceful. Look, you, 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 that's your homie. You should have told your homie to back off me. That's the whole Fuck. thing, bro. You better be ready to blow that gun when it's time, though. You're not ready. Mia wants revenge. Wait, huh? Okay. You better spin back for your homie. That's all I know. Because I'm about to get up out of here. <laughs> Girl, stop playing with me. They tested me. That's all I know. Yes. I'm not with them action. Oh! Oh wait, no, she's a, she's spinning back. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's time to get up out of here. Yeah, just drive off. Ha ha. Start swerving. You gotta swerve. You gotta swerve around. You gotta swerve to No way. She hit that shot with no scope? She hit the tire like that? That's a good shot, though. I got to give that to her. That's a really good shot. I wasn't expecting. I tested her gangster. Ah, I, yeah. I'm not going to lie. You take that out, bro. You bleeding out. You just got to keep that in. You got to keep that in, bro. Sun going down. Wait, no way I messed up, though. Is this it? Bro, we're only, we're only like 15, 20 minutes into the game. Did I just get someone killed off like that? Plug. Uh, 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 where am I? Where am I? You're oh. alive. <gasps> My man, me and him, we on the same wavelength. Sorry about that. Diego. Oh. Okay. It's just my insane. I think this is the partner, y'all. When I said that this was like a love letter game. I think this is who they made the game for right here. But they're like in the game. They, like Ted doesn't know this dude yet. You know what I'm saying? But Wait, I'll get what I'm saying. Huh? You stitched me up? Yeah, sorry. My stitching isn't the best. No, 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 no. You, you saved my life. Right, I ain't tripping. Well, you're welcome, I guess. Appreciate that, Diego. Go, Diego, go. Hey, go, Diego, go. What? What is this place? Uh, Yeah, what is this place? So... Where exactly am I? Where am I? What is this old rusty thing? It's where I live. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you call this place what? rusty? I mean, it looks cozy. It's just an old train carriage. You crashed into the train yard earlier. Oh, shit. My truck. That truck gone. That, that truck flipped over, bro. How did this all even happen? I need to know I can trust you. Ah. Um, well, I was passing through Rodoside, and I stopped at that furniture place to look for fuel. Furniture Valley? Yeah, that's it. Wait, do you know them? Those people there? No, I stay away from that place. I there caught a body a there, group, though. But the nocturnal attacked them a few days ago when it arrived in Riddleside. What is, what is the nocturnal? Still alive. They keep throwing that name around like, I need to know who that is. I don't know that. 
I'd be surprised they were still alive. Um, I shot one of them. I'm gonna keep one it a stack, bro. And Diego need to know I mean business. Me. Oh God. Yeah, what that was self defense. You? My truck. And now nobody has it. That's what I'm saying. All that for nothing. I check your hand, but. What's stopping you from using your left hand? That's what I'm saying, bro. Just use the left hand. That's not the right way to do it. That is true. That's kind of awkward, bro. Try and kill me. That's all I ask. He trusts Thanks. Ted. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. I mean, dang. You trust me like that? You just gave me the key? Diego. Nice to meet you, Ted. That's a cool name. Thanks for rescuing me. Appreciate Thanks that, for Diego. Thanks for me. Shout out I to Diego, to man. I to do this by myself. I'm amazed you've lasted this long then. Yeah, me too. You know, I've been looking for a community for a while, but well, I've had no luck. Do you know of any around here? With Furniture Valley out the picture, I don't think so. You're actually the first person I've seen in a while. Damn. Can I ask, why do you want to find other people? Uh, strength in numbers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's, the, that's one of the options? <laughs> what is Let's go. Obvious? There's strength in numbers. It means better defense against nocturnals and raiders. Plus, in a group. Okay, nocturnals are like make up for other people's weaknesses. It's it's something. There's no such thing as strength in numbers when it comes to nocturnals. The only way to survive is to hide from them. Communities just attract attention. I'm not surprised there aren't many left around here. They treat Being nocturnals like they're uh, the things from a quiet place. Here. Diego disagrees. <laughs> Thing sound like it got some weight to it. What is that? What the fuck? Hello? Hi. It's gone. Oh my gosh. Of course. What was that? As if this town wasn't bad enough already. It's got a fucking nocturnal. So the nocturnal is the like a monster. Area. I still don't know what I'm gonna do without it. Is that funny? <laughs> no, no. I was just thinking about how I know where another working car is. Are you being sarcastic? Oh! How? Let's go then! The only place left with cars are the communities. I mean, that's where I got my truck from, at least. I thought the rest had rusted away, no? This one was stored indoors. Perfect condition, fully fueled up. All it was missing that's was That's all I need to hear. Come on. Like the one in your crushed truck. Wrap up the combo. Let's get to Amazing. it. Amazing. Let's get to it. Well, where is it? Hold on, hold on. First, let's make this a deal. If I show you where this car is, then you can drop me outside of Ruddle side, and we can go our separate ways. Deal? Yeah. You saved me, bro. Sounds good. I I'll repay you like that. That's, that's cool with me. you aren't going anywhere in that condition. We'll have to wait a couple of days for your wound to heal properly. Try not to get cabin fever. <laughs> fever? Are you sick? Is it Bruh. contagious? Bruh. I can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> yeah. It's not an actual disease. It's just saying. Hey, in, no, we'll bro. get sick of each other. Well, I hope not. Right, we need to sleep. I'll stay up a bit in case it comes back. All right. Good night, Ted. Diego, cool. Good night, Diego. Cool peoples. Usually, you'd be meeting like weirdos out in uh, out in communities and public and stuff like that. But Diego sound like he seemed like a cool, uh, cool people. You know what I'm saying? Dang! You could draw too, Sean Diaz. What the? <laughs> <laughs> that is what I would say. Ah, oh, look at them, bruh. Bond session. Looks like it's getting better. Oh, 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 three days later. All right, Plug. he gave me his hoodie. <clears throat> what university, like college, is that, bro? I it looks so familiar. Find Diego. Okay, dang, this place is like it's cozy, though. All right, wait, look at guitar. Hmm. Still haven't heard him play guitar yet. That's probably a front bro. Probably don't even know how to play guitar. That's crazy. Lord of the Flies. Way. Lord of the Flies book. Okay. My shirt. I've had that t-shirt for years. I got a nice hoodie now. 
<laughs> the picture I drew, Ted Ainsley. Shout out to Ted, man. I man drew a picture of Diego. All right, let's get up out of here. Let's see. Oh, he chilling. Enjoy your lion. I'm starting to think you died of your injuries. I hey, thought you dipped. I'm I've not had an lie. exhausting last few days. Oh, of course. Sitting around in a train carriage all day can be so tiring. Hmm. My wound's getting a lot better. Good. No fever or anything? Nope. Just cabin fever. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you up to here, then? Making a fire pit. We need to eat before we head out. Wait, we're leaving today? I could use a couple more days still. We have no choice. The Nocturnal's been here twice in three days now. Twice in three in days? Oh, it's yeah. Safe. They know we here. Okay. They spinning the One block of us on us. Gather logs. The other should look for food. Take your pick. Um, I'll do the logs. That sounds a little bit easier. You, yeah, you figure I'll out find the food, some logs. buddy. I mean, what if I come across a bear in that forest? I wouldn't be able to fight it with my wound. Yeah, the wound is the only reason you wouldn't win in a fight against a bear. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you haven't seen me when I'm Yo. Hungry. Okay. Right. What that saying go? Um, would win against a bear. I well, forgot how that saying went. There aren't any bears left, so that's a clue. If you see me fighting a, a bear or some help the bear, huh? I don't know, bro. It goes like that. Like it goes something like that. Something like that. You feel me? Collect some logs. All right. Um, let's go. Collect log. Boom. Bring the log to the fire pit. Okay, bet. Simple enough. That's simple. Can I grab multiple? Can I grab like two or three? Nah, you can, only one at a time. Then you can't stack the logs. Come on, Ted. Boom. All right. Two out of, I gotta find three more of these. All right, there we go. There we go. And then, what was the other one? One's right here. Boom. And then one more, I saw one over here. I just wanna see what a, what a nocturnal looks like. Cause that thing sounded beefy. I'm not gonna lie, very, very beefy. I'm back. I said beefy. No bears What's then? Me? No bears. There was a little crow with a broken wing though. I gave him a berry. Hey, that could have been food, you know. Come on, let's eat. R2. Uh. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll do it. Oh, so Diego just got the magic touch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, we got some, what we got on that? Okay, berries, mushrooms. We just, all right, cool. Well, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Go on, hey, what was the worst food. thing? I ate a meerkat once. What? A meerkat? It's, it's like a type of mongoose found in- No, I know what a meerkat is, which makes me think you don't. It can't have been a meerkat. There aren't any native to these parts. Didn't I tell you that I grew up in a zoo? I thought it was a metaphor. <laughs> no, I told you. I grew up in an abandoned zoo. Oh, wait. Yeah, it still had meerkats and... Oh, and it had a gibbon named Lulu. How on earth did a monkey survive all this time? Wait. How did a monkey survive all Gibbons are apes actually make a joke? Let me make a joke. Well, I just slept in trees and ate bananas. <laughs> I gotta remember like they were born after the apocalypse like they were like like normal civilization is they don't know what that is bro <laughs> imagine being born into a into an apocalypse that's crazy <sighs> bro that's like your sign of normal that's that's life for you right now okay oh, okay you ready to head out you bringing that yeah, guitar around like you about to play so. some music. I need to hear what you can do. Wait, are you leaving all your stuff behind? Yeah, it's just stuff. None of it's worth my life. Except my guitar, of course. Good point. Hey, you still haven't played anything for me, you know. Right. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I'm rubbish. Come on. I've never so heard you just carry around. guitar before. Seriously? Maybe I'll play you something once we're out of Rattle Side. Really? That's okay. if we make it. We still need to get there before sunset. We're gonna make it, bro. Come on, let's go. We're going to make it. There's okay. no ifs. I got so, you. So, where are we going then? To the high school. 
That's where the car is. This is crazy. Look at this. Here, take this. Oh, good looking out. Bro, Diego, he got me, bro. Wait. Go, Diego, go. go. Isn't that the kind of place nocturnals live? Trust me, it's the fastest way to the school. We'll be fine. For sure, for sure. Okay, I mean, if you say so, Diego's like the type of person you just trust. Wait. Oh my gosh. It's like mad dark. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, if anything does happen, remember I have the keys, so don't leave me behind. I don't think I'd do that. I don't know. I got you, bro. You do have the keys too, and that—that's smart. This is exactly the kind of place in Smart. Away. He has the keys. It's sheltered from sunlight and. Hey, why don't we talk about something else? Like, how are you finding that Boss Wigo hoodie? Does it fit okay? Yeah, it's great, especially since nights are getting colder now. <laughs> what does Boss Wigo mean anyway? Look at this. It's the name of the town I grew up in. Now that I think about it, you haven't really mentioned anything about your past. I don't really want to talk about it. Right. I don't really know too much about him. I don't really want to talk about it. Um, I'm not going to pry. That's all right, bro. You'll That's come okay. around. I get Maybe. It. We've all got bad memories. Don't worry. It's nothing that bad. I wasn't enslaved or anything. Are you sure? What were those handcuffs back at the train carriage about then? Not for anything other than protecting myself from strangers. Uh, you say so. Maybe if you you a little right, kinky, you a little enough. freak. Like what what you doing with them handcuffs? Oh my goodness. Okay. This is. <laughs> am I hearing? Wait. Am I hearing stuff? I'm tweaking. Wait. Uh, I I I, I could have sworn I heard something to my right, bro. Like. I'm tripping. Never mind. I'm tripping. I'm Just tripping. up this ladder. Come on. Sorry, Cher was in a hurry to go home and watch the rocket. Left the rope in the maintenance room. Where's the maintenance room at? We might need that. Okay, where are we at? Surface exit? Um, Can I go to the... Okay, I think the maintenance... Okay, let me just keep going. Come on. I need me one of those bandanas around me. Like, he got an extra one or something? Maybe in black? Damn, son. Of course, bro. Of course. It's always the ladders, huh? Especially Oops. in the, these post-apocalyptic oh, games. Great. How am I supposed to get up now? It's okay. I'm sure there's something you can use. I'm literally alone now, bro. I don't like being alone. I don't like that. Look, I will just... I'll have a look around. Maybe that's what the rope is for. Yeah, we gotta we gotta head to the maintenance room. I just don't know how to get there from here. And on top of that, bro, there might be some nocturnals here on here. Definitely some nocturnals gonna pop up, bro. So let's just be in our tippy toes, you feel me? Bro, the noises, the ambiance in my ear, it's like I don't know why I'm so <laughs> I'm nervous, bro. <laughs> Cause I, I like I feel like I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna be stalked, bro. Like, I'm gonna actually see a nocturnal. I don't even know what a nocturnal looks like, but it's it don't sound too welcoming. That's all I know. Okay, let's go. Let's go on this side. Maybe the maintenance room is down here. Is it stairs? Wait a minute. Aha! Hold R1. Okay. Boom. Okay. Is that the rope? We need that. This is the maintenance room. We need that. Okay. Rope. Got some tools. Who? <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Very just fine. let's just chill. Let's just chill. Okay, hold on. Let's not do that, bro. Please, 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 let's stop doing that. Do not go out on me, bro, because I know I can't shake no flashlight like in Last of Us. So let's just chill. Let me look, check my corners. All right, let's just get back to Diego, bro. Let's just chill, man. This has got me tweaking right now, bro. I feel like I'm hearing stuff. Oh! Oh! No, 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 I'm gone. I do not want to find out what that is, bro. I'm so good. I'm so good, bro. I'm so good. It's not like something on my neck. I don't think that's my footsteps. Something's on my neck. Something's on my neck. You found some rope. That's not me, bro. That's not me, bro. That's not me. That was not my footsteps, bro. On everything I love, that was not my footsteps. Bro, that had me tense up, bro. 
Y'all let me just like tense up and start. No. No, my guitar. I can't, bro. Oh. I can't, bro. I can't. Leave it. Let's go. No, no, we gotta go. Just leave the guitar, bro. I'm so sorry, bro, but like, damn, you should have made sure that was secure on your back. I heard something. It was like on my heels, dog. It was on my heels, bro. I'm sorry, Diego. Well, there's other guitars out there, bro. But <laughs> what the? F Are y'all hearing this? Are y'all hearing that? Bro, what the? F like, bro. I kind of want to see what they look like, but I also don't because that noise is crazy. <laughs> It sounded like it was breathing on my neck. <sighs> like I, when I was running. Oh, nice converse. The guitar was a present from my mom. Oh. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have. No, don't be silly. It wasn't worth your life. Yeah, I, that's the only thing, bro. It was just a little too risky. Like, like that thing was close, very close. It's just unfortunate yeah, that. Let's go. His guitar fell. Blow. Shoot, the school's boy. just up this road. All right, come on, let's go, dude. <laughs> um, what? Dang! Military roadblock. Hey, is Rodelside near any craters? No, no. The nearest impact site's like hundreds of miles away. Yeah, I thought so. There's too many trees, and the buildings here are too intact. I wonder why the military came through here then. They probably came through every town when it all started. But whatever they were trying mm. to accomplish, they obviously didn't get very far. See? I told you I knew where I was going. You sure did. Let's just make sure we get to that car though. Why you like why do you keep bumping into me? You you trying to you wanna hug me? Like you want a quick hug, bro? We can do a quick hug. Wait. Look at those. Somebody dropped their glasses. Hopefully they got Somebody's 2020. Old pair of glasses. Wanna try them on? Because if you don't have no glasses and you're blind. Sorry, bro, you're cooked. Damn, son. You're cooked here. Uh, do you want to try them on? It's nearly dark. Yeah. Why not? How could that so, hurt? Why not? That can't hurt me. I might look you know, good. I'm actually kind of short-sighted. Don't tell me that. You're supposed to be driving us out of here. <laughs> it's not like there's other cars on the road. Go on, put them on. Ah, look. Beautiful. Oh, look. Ah, appreciate you. I don't think these are right for my eyes. Dang. They are probably for reading. Still suits you, though. Ugh, what's that smell? <gasps> Ooh. I guess we found who owned the glasses. I never noticed him before. Ugh, how long has he been here? You shouldn't be used to it. It still freaks me out. Oh, wait, you should be used to it. It still freaks me out. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to it. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> Come on, let's go. That dude got messed up. Half of, it, half of that skull is missing. Dad, this dude got messed up. Plug. <coughs> Look like he landed on his head. <laughs> I'm always falling into places, I swear. <laughs> okay um wow it's like frozen in time i guess no one's been here since the impact explains why the car was untouched what are you doing prom riddleside prom i don't understand what is this? I thought school was supposed to be boring. Oh, it's called a I keep forgetting like they have, them at the end of their school they haven't experienced this. And he can't read. read. Like it's hard for him to read. Something like that. Diego didn't open up to Ted. See, all these comic books that I found, it's like the one thing kids hate most in the world is fucking school. I wish I knew. It doesn't matter. The car's just down wow. here. Wow. I feel like I'm Ellie for real. So weird to think they celebrated the meteor. If only they knew what was coming. Yeah, it's kind of ironic. <laughs> it's like, dang, like they got a meteor themed prom and got like. <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh, wait. Huh? 
oh, collect letter. Principal Mulligan, I am writing this letter to inform you that I will not be attending the prom night tomorrow. I understand that you are short on faculty as many have already booked the night off to watch the rocket launch, but I just can't shake the thought that something is going to go wrong. And I would like to be with my family during this time. I know on the news they say nothing can go wrong, but that doesn't reassure me. It's like they're not allowed to talk about what happens if the mission fails and that meteor still hits us. I'm not one to believe in conspiracy theories, but it makes sense. They're trying to keep us calm. I apologize once again for my absence, and I'm sure you'll be making fun of me once it's over, Mrs. Jefferson. Mrs. Jefferson was the smart one, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if she's still alive or anything, but she she got the clue for sure. Bro, another Lord of the Flies book. I, it, like, is the developer's favorite book Lord of the Flies? I mean, I, Lord of Flies, they, I had to read that in high school. That's a good book. I, I, I was messing with it. To Sean, I figured out how to change the door lock so we can have some alone time during prom. It's my table number and yours. Hattie, Hattie, Hattie? Okay. Um, my table number and yours. Let's, well, let me, let me see what that table number is. All right, um, where's that Hattie girl? All right, Hattie, five, five and one. Okay, zero, five, zero, five, zero, one. Okay, got you. Can I even open it though? I can't open this. Or maybe this isn't that door. Okay, wait, let me see where Diego's at. Open this up. Adorable, isn't it? Ah, this so is the car. Little. Is the car big enough? You're little. Are you sure it's big enough? It'll just be cozy. You don't mind? Mm. I'm still recovering from my cabin fever. <laughs> <laughs> we should leave in the morning when it's light. We don't want a nocturnal coming after us. True, but I'm kind of I'm a little curious to see like what they are. Like, what is a nocturnal? Is this shuttered door needs power. Okay, well we've got all night, so don't worry. I still need to put the battery in, so while I work on that, why don't you try and get the school's power back on? For sure. I'll have a look around and see what I can find. All right, let me see what we got. Find a way to turn the power back on. Got you. Uh, look at Crank. This gives me bad memories. <laughs> Yo. I had one of these at Furniture Valley. PTSD. All right, let me check out that door. Yeah, okay, now we can finally open this door. Of course. Um. Another door code. What was it? Zero, five, zero, one. There we go. All right, and it's the power turn power back on. <sighs> Just as I expected. It's not working. Oh, of course, bro. It's, it's like, it's too easy. Backup fuel. Oh. Find fuel for the generator. And I saw like a whole bunch that was in here. Let me get that, thank you. Oh wait, can I talk to Diego real quick? Do you need me to do it? No, I got it, Ted. You can carry on with getting the power working. All right, I mean like, it looked like you kind of struggling. I'm just, you know, offering my assistance. I got you, independent man. Plug. Right. Throw that in there. And then let's try it. There we go. We have power. What the hell? How actually did it? Nice. We should have kind of. I think we should have checked like the entire school before we started turning stuff on. You feel me? But uh, you might want to close that. I'm not gonna lie. That, <laughs> let's keep that closed. You feel me? We just be staring at the tension is there, y'all. I'm just saying, like you know, like, I'm just saying. So. What's the plan once we get out of this town? All I care about is getting as far away from Riddleside as I can. Fair. Maybe That's somewhere fair. warmer. Yeah, definitely. My ears get really sore when it's cold. Oh. What? No, nothing. Wait, wait, wait what did I say? Did I say something wrong? Do you think things will ever go back to how they were? Like, before? Hmm. I don't think it can ever be the same. I don't think the world can ever be the same. Um, I think, yeah. Maybe you're right. I guess we have to make do with the new normal. Yeah, with the nocturnals dying out, maybe the new normal won't be so bad. Yeah, we'll just have people to worry That's about. That's what I'm saying, like, you gotta worry about people then. It might be people who have to worry about you. Diego thinks Ted is cold. 
I'm not cold. I'm like, I'm really a cool you dude. said you killed someone a few days ago. Someone at that old furniture store? Yeah, I, I told you it was self-defense. How come? You just haven't mentioned it since. You know, it seems like something that would stick with you for a while, but... You don't seem to be affected by it. I'm guessing you killed people before then. Uh... Yeah, but only people who were bad. How do you decide who's bad? Ah! Uh, people who attack my zoo are bad. And they kill children. Okay, yeah, that... That's crazy, right? That's yeah. bad. It's self-defense, bro. I don't just be what out about the killing people. the the furniture store, then? I regret what I did. She did bro, she had a knife to me. She, she gave me that little scar under my eye. She was to shoot me and take my truck. Yeah, everything is self-defense, bro. probably really desperate, Ted. Bro, but that's not the, that's not the point, care. though. I do I, it It's again. like, I gotta live my that life, too. bitch got what was coming. D I ain't say it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> we should I, sleep. I ain't mean to say all that, though. <laughs> not Ted. Oh my gosh. Night, Diego. I think Diego low-key kind of scared of me, though. It's like, I don't mean it like that. Plug! I don't like how that's open. Diego? Where is Diego always off to, bro? He's always going off somewhere by himself. It's like, bro, stick together. Oh, what the? What are you doing, dude? You good? Hey, sorry. Did I wake you up? No, no. It's, it's fine. I think the sun's almost up now. Oh. Oh. What you mean, oh? Like, what else? Say something else. So... What What's on your mind, Diego? Something on his Can mind, bro. How come? Just thinking about stuff. What stuff? I'm good at stuff. Well, you got me thinking earlier, talking about our plans. I'm just... I'm just worried you're thinking about them as our plans. As in, together. So, you want us to go our separate ways? What? I just have this memory screaming at me from the back of my head whenever I picture us leaving together. I know you think surviving together out there would make things easier, but I've done this all before. What happened, Diego? Yeah, bro. I need to know, bro. I, I need to know your story. I was the only person I've ever really cared about. We chose to leave Bos Vigo so we could start a new life somewhere else, just us. I was so naive back then. I thought our plan was perfect. When I woke up the next day, I found out it was only my plan. Mm. Theirs was to abandon me with all our belongings and leave me for dead. Oh. Was. My 16-year-old self was out in the world with absolutely nothing except the knife in the back. I never want to feel that way again, Ted. So he got trust issues. I get that. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of bogus. That I just think you got if left we like see that. our goodbyes outside of Riverside, then we can at least end it on a nice note, you know. I don't want to let my past interfere. I get that, but it's like get over it. I mean, I understand, bro. I get what Look, you mean. I understand. We can say goodbye, Diego. It's okay. I'm sorry. No, that's cool. I know you didn't want to be alone again, but don't give up hope finding a community out there. Don't give up hope? There aren't any communities out there. Ted. Ted isn't no. taking this well. Look, Diego, I'm sorry that happened to you, but you can't be by yourself forever. Like, you need to move on. Well, that's easy for you to say. Oh, oh my God, I've lost people too. <laughs> Shit just happened. He's like, oh my God. But you need to get over it or else, what's the point? You're just going to give up? Even if we left together, then what? Okay, Ted, talk some sense into him. die anyway. You know what it's like out there. No. <gasps> <gasps> Wait! What the- That's right. Heard the music coming from the school. I knew it would be you. What the- <laughs> Diego! I'll be fine. <sighs> what the fuck did you do? Revenge for Maggie. Remember? Bro, look when at you her! In cold blood. Did you really think I was going to let you get away with that? Girl, are you crazy? How are you what bro? Could you possibly want from me now? Like... The car. I saw it when I came in. Give me the keys. Oh, we're going to start this again? 
What's your name? I forgot. <sighs> Mia Ted Claire. Don't. What's your name? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Hold on, 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 hold on. <laughs> I got this, Diego. Don't worry. <laughs> no. Damn, son. <laughs> oh my Whoa. Bro, she got tossed around like salad. Uh-uh. <laughs> nah, that's bad. Ted, quick. Help me hold the door. Dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, she's out the I'll picture. Find way out too. <laughs> Thank you, Nocturnal. I mean, dude, my Diego bleeding out too. This is bad. This is all bad. My man took a whole boat. No. Is there a vent? Wait. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Crawl to the vent without being spotted or heard. Whoa. Now, I wasn't sure if that was glass on the ground or if that was like puddles. You know what I'm saying? Like it kind of looked like puddles to me, so I thought I was just gonna like, you know, it wasn't gonna make too much noise, but that was glass. And now that I think about it, it's glass because bro came from the from the from the ceiling. You know what? Alright. Huh? Let's try this again. All right, crawl to the vent without being spotted or hurt. All right, let's go. Go this way. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so do I just like crawl lightly on it? I might have to just crawl light. Wait, no, no, no. How, bro? How would I do this? Okay. You just gotta like be, be very fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, that. Ooh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're chilling, we're chilling. Alright, come on, come on. We almost done, y'all. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> that thing is ugly! Oh. Oh. Okay. Dang, Diego is losing so much blood. Look at that. <laughs> Just go, please. Oh my god, that thing is so ugly. Ew. Bro, Bro Nocturnal's like he got chewed up and spit back out. That's crazy what happened to um, the Mia, though. <laughs> That's tough. She should have never shot, bro. Like, she doing all that shooting. Oh, what happened to uh, Maggie's body? She took her body? My man, Just Diego, hang in there, Diego. cooked. We're almost out. Tell me how to stitch you up. I could, I could do that. Like, at least try. Look, we made it. See? Uh, Ted. Uh, Diego. Oh, no. Uh, I can't. Don't. Uh. Shit. What should I do? You've done enough. What? Oh, my gosh. Bro. You got those people from the furniture shop killed. You got me killed. Maybe you're better off alone. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Bro, you would have done the same if you were in my shoes, though. That's the thing, Diego. What the fuck? Huh? Bro. Everyone died except for Ted. Oh, my gosh, bro. That, like, those were bad people. Do we not understand that? Competent, warm, cold, incompetent. Voice of Ted in game created by Max Jolly. Yo, shout out to Max Jolly, though. That, like, this is a good game, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This was cool. This was cool. And the fact that you made it like a love letter to your loved one, bro, that's that's what's up. But like, huh? huh? That's your last words to me, Diego? Like, we weren't that cool? Like, bro, there's no way. If I wanted to kill people, 
I would have I would have dealt you in, bro. I would have put you six feet earlier into the game. I thought we were cool. He's like, bro, you got these people at the furniture killed. You got me killed. What the fuck? Like, what do you mean? Bro. Endings unlocked. Wait, there's like, wait, dang, how many endings? One, two, three, four, five? Bro, wait. Six endings. Holy. So you can play this a couple times, but that's crazy though. I got Diego killed. Like, bro, you can't say I got him killed. How, bro? How? Because I didn't kill, I didn't kill Mia, but Maggie was on my tail, was, was about to slice me up, bruh. Bro, she was about to treat me like Fruit Ninja. She had the blade and everything, bro. Y'all see the little cut under my eye? Like, yo, you telling me I couldn't self-defend off that? What? Bro. All right, look, look, look. <laughs> I did go into this game saying that we weren't gonna get no one killed. We got like three people killed. Damn, the thing son. is, bro, it's like, you telling me Mia went all this way out of her trouble to get revenge? Girl, if you don't if you don't get over it, your number one objective was to get revenge. Did you not see what your homegirl did to me? And you telling me you needed to get revenge off that, even though I was self defending myself? Like, what? Man, it's cool, bro. It's cool. It's cool. You know what? I'm over it. It's cool. I'm over it. I might play this game again and get another ending, but dang, bro. That's crazy. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much. If y'all did enjoy the game, please do like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the game. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I think it was a cool game. It was, it was cool. It was like it was like a nice, quick, short game. But I really do mess with the concept of it. I do like the choice-based aspect of it. And I also like that it's in a post-apocalyptic theme. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, this, was, this game was made as a love letter. And I do want to explore if there's like a romance option with Diego. Because I want to see how that dynamic kind of shapes up a little bit. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.